Well, Malaysia is a, is a country that has never shied away from any sustainable um, efforts or climate change uh, action that is being introduced internationally. And we, from 1992 in the Rio summit, we've pledged that we will keep more than 50% of our land under forest cover. And we still do. And I think recently the Prime Minister reiterates that. And we are, we have, we are also involved in uh, COP26 and we have all legislation and also initiative that has been done to ensure the sustainability of Malaysia. And I think coming down to the palm oil industry itself, uh, we showed this commitment despite all the attacks that has been done by the foreign, um, I would say, uh, stakeholders that we are not sustainable. And we try to prove it through MSPO. And this MSPO is being created not only by the government, but it's a multi-stakeholders approach where we get everyone from the government to academics, NGOs, um, uh, social uh, so society associations and all the other, of course, industry members, stakeholders to be in here to give their peace, to come up with the best practice uh, for sustainability in Malaysia's perspective. And I believe uh, through the revised standard, this has, has been upgraded, I would say. And um, uh, it's comparable to other international uh, certification schemes. So I would urge uh, to those critics, especially um, maybe foreign policy makers, to have a look at MSPO trade, uh, and sorry, uh, the MSPO scheme itself, to see how how it, it uh, what the scheme is really all about, and how it really complements their need no deforestation policies and whatever legislation that they are put in. Uh, I would say most of their needs, their legislation needs, in terms of legality, in terms of uh, traceability in terms of uh, accountability, is ev everything is covered under the MSPO scheme. And uh, seriously, they should, have, uh, they should consider MSPO and uh, potentially other national schemes that is in line with their uh, policies to be accepted because certified sustainable palm oil is the, is the way to satisfy the global, uh, the global need for food, uh, especially due to the growing po uh, population and things like that. And, there is, um, and boycotting or totally banning palm oil is definitely not the way. So since certified sustainable palm oil is the way and it's proven to be the solutions at many fora and acknowledged by many international um, organizations, Europe, developed countries, they really need to understand uh, also the producing countries' perspective, uh, the MSPO um, principles and criteria to suit to whatever um, you know, uh, requirements that they need in terms of trying to avoid um, forest or forest-risk uh, commodities that they are consuming.